one has to be very sensitive, you know, to be able to walk with the Holy Spirit. You need to be sensitive. You know, if you're somebody who always brushes things off, you are somebody who always trying to make decisions out of logic, you'll miss it. You, sh you cannot be somebody who is a prejudice. Don't judge people until you receive revelation about the matter. You know, you should be somebody who, um, somebody who always gives people the benefit of a doubt. Mm -hmm. And all of these things I'm talking about is going to operate from your heart space. You know, it's going to operate from your heart space. This is our power in Him. This is why the devil is fighting so hard to make sure you don't connect with the Holy Spirit. Because, because if, 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 if I can grant you any power, a power that will tell you what is going to happen tomorrow, you will be able to avoid every calamity. You will be able to avoid every pitfall, every danger. You will be able to avoid every evil plan, evil plot by your enemies when they gather together and plan and do, plan what to do against you. You always come out of whatever the enemy is planning. The devil does not want this. The devil does not want this. This is why Jesus, one of the reasons why Jesus Christ came here is to make sure the Holy Spirit was here to help us help us make the right decisions, to help us move away from sin. And the sin part, I've said it already, the more you make a personal choice and decision to move away from things that you know is sin, the Holy Spirit even shows up to help you. All you need to do is make the first step. All you need to be, do is be committed in, your, in the depth of your heart to do the right thing. You are not perfect as you start up uh, you are, you are not going to be perfect as you start walking this journey. You will make some mistakes, you slide, you fall, but, but if if you are going to still stay committed to still get up and still walk on this path, a path of righteousness, the power of the Holy Spirit will be there to help you. And then you realize that things that you easily used to fall to, um, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you've lost interest in them. That's how the Holy Spirit does. You lose interest in certain things you thought you, thought you could not move away from. Alcohol, drugs, masturbation, uh, um, drug use, whatever. Watch the next part.